Hi you all guys, uh, Colin again, Purchase Sally. Um, today I'm just going to look at how much each electrical appliance will cost you um, per hour after the energy rates increase comes in in a couple of weeks time in October. Um, basically I'm going to assume that you'll be paying about 30 cent per kilowatt. That's the assumption I'm making here on the figures that I give you. Um, you might be paying more, you might be paying less. Um, obviously we dealt with um, with uh, some things to do to reduce your bills, including changing your supplier there in the last um, little video I put together. So look out for that um, on our social feeds if you haven't seen it already. So anyway, very quickly, I'll go through a few typical things that we have and how much they'll cost. So a washing machine is generally, I'm assuming it's using about 650 watts and what that will translate to per hour will be about 20 cent per hour. Um, so um, obviously that's something to take into account. Um, and we've talked about tumble dryers before. Tumble dryers, I'm assuming about five kilowatts or 5,000 watts. So that would add up to 150 per hour that it's in use. So do keep that in mind and uh, look out for the dryer wall products uh, available on purchase that I to save um, about 20% on drying time. Uh, clothes iron, um, one of those items we worry about when we leave home and think, do we turn it on or off? That's about generally about one kilowatt or a thousand watts, uh, about 30 cents an hour, or about 30 cents an hour that'll cost uh, add to your energy bill. A dishwasher, they're typically about 1.8 kilowatts, so they'll add about 54 cents to your bill. Electric shower, that's one of the heaviest items of all. Generally, they're about 8.5 kilowatts. So they will add 2.55 to your um, bill. I think um, I worked out there before a family of five. If uh, you were all to reduce your time in the shower by two minutes per day, you'd save about 12 euros a week. So that's what that can add up to. Um, a hair dryer, 1.5 kilowatts, um, 45 cent an hour. A television, assuming it's about 36 inch color TV, around 200 watts or 6 cent per hour. A laptop, about 1.8 cent per hour. A portable radio, 0.2 cent an hour. A cordless phone, 0.1 cent an hour. Electric kettle or 3 kilowatts, so they add about 90 cent per hour. Uh, we talked before about um, using a flask to um heat it when you boil the kettle uh, use a flask to pour the excess water into so you don't have to boil again and use the uh, flask water to um to fulfill your next cup of tea or whatever it might be um microwave 850 watts so about 26 cent an hour a toaster 1.2 kilowatts 36 cent an hour vacuum cleaner 1.4 kilowatts 42 cent an hour um the refrigerator is uh, 180 watts so about five cents an hour that works out at about 35 euro a month so make sure that you're defrosting it and using it as effect effectively as possible um your fan based heater or your oil based heaters these kind of things here um they're generally two watts two and a half watts 2.5 kilowatts ending up to about 75 cent an hour um, we've talked before as well about the um, the far infrared panel heaters, electric panel heaters from Perch Study, the 350 watts, the smallest ones, they'll use just about 11 cent an hour, or the largest ones we do, 750 watts, they'll use about 20 cent an hour. Then you're looking at bulbs, and bulbs are interesting as well. Your 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 um typical sixty watt bulb, your traditional bulb, basically that would add about one point eight cent which doesn't sound like a lot uh, to your energy bill. But if you use the five watt LED bulbs, which have the same lighting output of, of 60 watt, uh, that would add up to about 0.2 cent. And again, this doesn't sound like a big difference, 1.8 cent an hour or 2 cent or 0.2 cent an hour. But actually, um, if you add it all up, like the, if you were say using 10 uh, 60 watt bulbs, in your home for say four hours a night on average uh, that would add up to about 450 
or five euro um probably about five euro a night or, or per week um whereas the uh five watt bulb about 50 cents so you're talking about saving about 450 per week uh, just on your bulbs if you were using the more energy efficient ones um anyway folks that's just a quick uh, run through on those some of the typical items i hope that's of use to you obviously double check uh, how much you're paying per kilowatt yourself all the figures i've given you are making this some assumption that after the rates go up you'll be paying about 30 cent per kilowatt so look out for um our other videos and feel free to comment uh, ask any questions and um Obviously, just send us an email or ring us 066 713 6486. We're always happy to talk to people on the phone as well. Thanks for your time. Bye.